What should I play today? Uh, Pokemon Fire Red? No. Uh, oh, Donkey Kong Country? No. What do I have over here? Uh, hmm. I don't really feel like playing DS. Uh, wait. Perfect. SSX, the original for the PS2. I used to love this game, but for the life of me, I can't remember why, especially after playing the slightly newer entries in the series. Ah oh, yes. Now if that isn't nostalgic to keep me in my non-existent nuts, I don't know what is. Let's start with the basics. SSX is a snowboarding simulation game, in which mainly focuses on tricks and races. You start off with a total of 8 playable characters, 4 of which must be unlocked by winning gold in a certain number of races. A total of 3 girls and 5 boys make up the group, each with their own personality and skills. Each character can be customized with boards and outfits, many of which are unlocked by winning races. Winning isn't just about getting gold either. Placing within the top three will move you forward and amp up your skills. Each venue has an increase in difficulty. Speaking of difficulty, this game is very tricky. No, not you. Even being an experienced SSX player, it took me two tries to get gold on the very first venue. Talk about embarrassing. Sometimes, it's best to just try switching characters for certain courses. Each character has their strong points in edging, speed, ability, and tricks. This adds another interesting point to consider when choosing characters. Racing isn't just about speed, it's about experience and knowledge. Pulling off big tricks earns you points on your trick meter, which you can then use as speed boosts when you need them. Finding and taking the best shortcuts can be the difference between gold and fourth place. The game also includes freestyle and a trick area, although I find the races much more interesting. Remember earlier when I mentioned the long loading times? Yeah, well, it gets worse. I first played this game at a friend's house years ago. Her game kept freezing on loading screens, but I assumed this was either her PS2 or her disc. I was wrong. This same issue happened with my brand new disc on my PS2, which has never had any issues. This can be frustrating if you barely just won a race and you haven't saved yet. This means save often. Another thing that makes this game tricky is the lack of restart button. The only restart button is at the end of the heat, and pressing that restarts the whole race back to the beginning. Despite the trickiness, I mean, well you know what I mean. This is a very fun game. I have little to no interest in snowboarding or sports for that matter. But this game, or rather its series, is epic. It is harsh in some ways, but that just makes winning all the more rewarding. It sets goals, which are achievable, but it makes you work for them. The characters are all unique and play differently, which is refreshing. The unlockables motivate you to keep getting higher rankings, and there are rewards based on how well you do. Players must distribute points among the four skills to create the best border. The music and scenery make up a fantastic atmosphere of the game. 
Despite not aging too well, still an amazing game. A must if you're interested in the SSX series. 8.5 out of 10. That's it for today guys. Enjoyed it? Then like, comment, and maybe even subscribe. This has been Simply Press Start, where gaming is as simple as pressing start.